Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Shoot with Tapu, uh, Lockdown Photography, whatever you want to call it. Um, I know this is sort of getting really stressful and we have been in for way too long. I'm, I'm sort of running out of ideas. If you, however, you do have ideas, you can just, um, just DM me and give me ideas of what you want to hear, what you want to learn. Um, today I've decided I'm going to do a little bit of uh, light painting. Light painting is basically uh, when you leave your camera shutter open and uh, you take any light object or any light and then you sort of walk through your camera shutter exposure with um, that light and you can sort of paint, you can write names, you can do uh, millions of things, they're really fun thing to do. So I'm going to start you off with a really basic one, which is basically, it's always basic. All you need is a camera which can keep its shutter open. You can get your phones and your iPhones to do this. You need an app for that. Something which will keep your shutter open for longer of time. Uh, the one which I have found is something called Slow Camera and it worked quite well. Um, it has a B setting, so that's that. The main thing you need is a light source and uh, a light wand or light saber. And uh, I'll show you how to make that. What you need to make your DIY uh, light painting light source is a sort of a lightsaber. It's basically any kind of plastic which is sort of thick. This is a record cover sleeve uh, I have lying uh, left over. I'm using butter paper, but you can use any kind of paper. Uh, tissue paper would also do to uh, just uh, make it diffuse. And uh, clear scotch tape, which is you can join everything together. The basic idea is to get something which looks like this. So. You're going to have a roll around your, your light source and then when you put it on, you have this interesting lightsaber type of thing, which is going to be uh, the wand you paint with in your photographs. A very simple and satisfying project. You just need to make this stick at the end of your uh, flashlight. If, however, you don't have any of these utensils, you can uh, just uh, take a tissue paper and wrap it with a rubber band at the front of your light and uh, anything which will diffuse the light and make it into a larger source. And once you have that, then you can begin painting. For the light painting, the main thing you need is a really strong tripod. Uh, it has to hold the weight of the camera and be sturdy enough. Second of all, you have to change your camera settings. And uh, so I have mine. Uh, I'm gonna move it to something called time. If you put it on bulb, which is uh, the shutter open as long as you own hold the trigger but i'm not going to be holding the trigger because i'm going to be standing in front doing work so instead i have put it on time where sorry where is it going time where you press it once it opens and you press it a second time it closes Next and thing then you need to do is check your your metering so i have put my iso on a hundred which is a normal one and then i have uh, put my speed which is on time and I put my f-stop at 8 right now, but I'm going to check how strong my light is and then move the f-stop in that direction, seeing how much light I want. Set my basically where I'm going to be photographing and I have started it at 8 and then all I need is to take my shot, get to wherever I want and uh, check out my light there, see what and the results there. look like. If uh, they are okay, then my metering is about right. And they are a bit overexposed, so I'm going to bring the aperture down to maybe 11. After all my setup, I have uh, Danish standing in a place where he can be very secure. And what I've done, I have two flashlights. So the first one, I'm just pointing at his face, okay, and lighting him, his clothes, his body, okay. And then the second one I have is the one with the little stick on it. So I'm using that to light paint or do whatever I want to do in the background and uh, get the desired result. It makes an interesting portrait. You have uh, sort of the control over lights and you can make a, a really moody atmosphere. There's one more thing you can do with light painting. You can create light balls or light orbs like this. Uh, in order to do that, you just need to have your flashlight, which had the white paper on it, um, with a longer string. The longer the string, the larger the ball. And visualize the spot where you're standing. And as you spin your circle, uh, make sure that the hand which you're spinning it in is always in the center. So you basically visualize the circle, walk around it, and when you finish your 360 degrees, you will have this wonderful uh, light ball. 
So here we are, a few of the results which have uh, been made with the balls. It is quite nice when you do it outdoors. Um, a little bit of environment uh, looks good and the ambient light works quite well. There's another way you can utilize that technique is uh, just outline things and they look really good. And I hope you all are taking care of yourselves, uh, staying safe. Thank you for enjoying this. Do hashtag us on Shoot with Tapu or Stay Home Projects or Lockdown Projects.